This guy's your buddy, buddy. You feel it immediately. You belong to an organization, a fraternity of drunks. Idiot Doom Spiral, huh? This is bound to be a good, high concept conversation. At last. We are saving the world. Please! Please don't call! Don't call! Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, creativity, and willpower. But that didn't work out. So now, it's a pirate's life for me. It's you. Your Tequila Sunset. We've met before. Don't you remember? Aha. Uh -huh. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Tequila. Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. Mm hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday, and by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer. And it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head, right in front of them. That's pretty high concept, if you ask me. It is. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. It was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, were getting our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this, we get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. The time hath come. So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for Tequila Sunset, the end of all things. Yeah, looms. Why not? Then you jammed the pedal and plowed right off the jetty and through the ice. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out. Miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. We asked about the whole Tequila Sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother! Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point... I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. 
how they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. Wow. That's quite a story. Yeah. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. <laughs>